Some people in a La Crescenta area neighborhood aren't very welcoming to a new welcome sign. The sign recently went up at the historic German section of Crescenta Valley Park. CBS 2's Christy Fajardo shows us why some neighbors want this sign removed. What's in a name? Controversy when it comes to this sign on the west end of Crescenta Valley Park, conjuring up a sense of German American pride for some, but for the Jewish Federation of Greater San Gabriel and Pomona Valleys. We'd like the sign taken down. It stirs up memories like those captured in old photos when swastikas flew in the park. The name Hindenburg evokes a lot of emotion for the Jewish community. The county approved renaming the stretch of park after Paul von Hindenburg in the 1990s. But the controversy started last month when this welcome sign was put up by the Tricentennial Foundation, a German heritage group. It was first named after the war hero and German president prior to World War II when the land was owned by the German American League. But it's the fact that an ailing Hindenburg appointed Hitler chancellor that has some arguing the name has got to go. This is something that the county is saying that they're okay with. Right. We're not. And Hindenburg appointed Hitler at a time when, when there were a lot of politics going on that didn't necessarily point Hindenburg as knowing what was to come with Hitler. That's also the argument the Tricentennial Foundation is making. Its chairman tells us by phone the sign is merely meant to commemorate German American community's long history in the area. And the fact that it also commemorates events that took place at that park as well needs to be understood. What took place were rallies like these when the pro-Nazi Bund rented the park. The Tricentennial Foundation says the images are misleading, saying the people were not necessarily Nazis, but were waving what was the German flag at the time. Either way, some park goers say that history is reason enough for the name to stay. Some things happen here that aren't respectable. That shouldn't be lost. To forget history is to repeat it. Christy Fajardo, CBS 2 News.